Now within this directory, I have a slash command called rename receipts.toml. Now the name of the file is going to be the actual slash command, rename hyphen receipts. Now, if you look at the description, there's two parameters that every slash command needs to have. Number one, the description, which is what is going to populate when you type in the slash command with the name, it's also going to give you the description and the detailed prompt. I have a detailed instruction on what this is supposed to do. Essentially, what I'm doing here is I, I tend to take a lot of images on my phone for my for experience my receipts for my company and I store all of that in a single folder but that images is not very descriptive I now use Gemini model to make more sense of the receipt and to make it more descriptive how does it do that because it, it's multimodal by default it's able to understand the contents of the image and then it's automatically able to also rename every single image within that folder so that's the instructions that I've given it I've also specified that you'll have to leverage the inbuilt tools like list directory read file etc and also specified like a run shell command, which is again an inbuilt tool to, to rename these files. If you look at this, this looks like a static prompt. What sets slash commands apart is this particular arguments variable. Now this is what converts this from not just being a static prompt to something that you can specify on the fly. For example, if I specify my slash command and I append it with my directory information, that is going to be passed into this prompt. And now it's a standard formatting. You can specify any number of arguments and it's going to be, it's going to, it's going to take it in the order that it received it from. Now let's take a look at how this custom slash command would work in theory. I'm going to specify forward slash and it's giving me the list, which is the name of the custom slash command, the toml file rename recipe. And it also gives me the description, which is organized and rename expense reports. So I'm going to give that. And then I'm also going to pass in my arguments, which is going to be the folder path where it contains the images. Now I'm going to hit enter. It's going to take each of these images within that folder, analyze the content and then rename it accordingly. You can see that it did, it completed the rename with the date at which this was transacted, the name of the restaurant, as well as the total amount in the bill. This is amazing because it's not just for developer workloads. You can also use it for your day-to-day -day productivity.